Hi, this is a tutorial for solving applications of first-order differential equations from the book Advanced Engineering Mathematics, 5th edition by Clarence Raymond Wiley. On page 61, number 84, the problem is, when a capacitor of capacitance C is being charged through a resistance R by a battery which supplies a constant voltage E, the instantaneous charge Q on the capacitor satisfies the differential equation R dQ over dT plus Q over C is equal to E. Now determine Q if the initial charge is equal to zero and if the battery is replaced by a generator which supplies an alternative voltage equal to EO sine omega t. Replacing the E with EO sine omega t, we have equation number one, which is R dQ over dT plus Q over C is equal to EO sine omega t. Now to be able to get the standard form of a linear differential equation dq over dt plus p of dq is equal to g of t, we divide all terms by r, giving us dq over dt plus q over rc is equal to eo sine omega t all over r. Solving for the integral factor, which is v is equal to e raised to the integral of p of t dt, or p of t equal of is equal to 1 over rc giving us v is equal to e to the t over rc and multiplying this integral factor by our differential equation we get dt of e to the t over rc multiplied by q is equal to eo sine omega t all over r multiplied by e to the t over rc dt and integrating both of these terms we get this equation and now we still have to integrate this term so solving for the integral of e to the t over rc sine omega t dt will let u as e equal to sine omega t and let dv is equal to e to the t over rc dt and so we will integrate it by using an integration technique uv minus v du giving us this equation. Now there is still an integral of omega cosine omega t dt so again we are going to integrate rc e to the t over rc the integral of omega cosine omega t dt using the same, same integration letting u as cosine omega t and dv as e to the t over rc dt. And now this would be the equation u cosine omega t v minus v du. And multiplying this omega rc by distributing, we will we can observe that there the integral of e to the t over rc sine omega t is the same with this in the left. So, we transpose it to the left and then factor the integral of e to the t over rc sine omega t dt, giving us 1 plus r squared c squared omega squared. And so, we will be able to get the integral of this term, which is sine omega t multiplied by rc e to the t over rc minus r squared c squared omega e to the t over rc cosine omega t all over 1 plus r squared c squared omega squared plus the constant k. Now remembering the equation before, we will have we will then substitute our solved equation to this one. And then to find q in terms of t, divide all the terms by e to the t over r c. Giving us this equation, q of t is equal to e o c sine omega t minus e o r c squared omega cosine omega t all over 1 plus r squared c squared omega squared plus k e to the negative t over r c. So to find this constant k, we substitute t is equal to 0 since we are given the initial charge which is equal to 0. So we substitute 0 here. 
and p with 0, giving us the value of k, which is e o r c squared all over 1 plus r squared c squared omega squared. Then we're going just to substitute it, and here's the answer. Q in terms of D. That's it. Thanks for watching.